So, it's just a, again, it's just like a, a seesaw battle. Tables have turned once more with that army being destroyed. Now the ball's in Red's court. He's going to come in, and he's going to... Oh, well, he's going to notice the expansion. It seems like it's going to go down pretty quick. They're going to target that hatchery. But with that, apparently Teal doesn't notice this. He's not going to move his defenses to defend uh, this rock outcropping. And Blue is just... Oh, sorry. And Ray's just going to get in there. Again, with no real... No defenses. They're gonna start tearing stuff down. He's got a couple stalkers in there. There was most of his stalkers. Looks like they were over there expanding. His stalkers have yet to research Blink as well. Oh, neither has Red either. Which is weird. Now we're gonna have a stalker on stalker shootout. Uh, it's just <laughs> blue lasers flying everywhere. And I don't know who's gonna win this. I don't know what's gonna happen. It looks like Teal might take it narrowly. They might narrowly be able to outman uh, these stalkers. It looks like Teal is going to take it with only four stalkers in remain. And here comes Zerg player once again late to the battle. <laughs> it looks like he's going to try and reclaim his uh, ancestral expansion. know how it's ancestral. I just thought it would sound cool. And Red is in a sizable uh, position right now. He's got another base going down. Oh, well, so does Teal. But, uh, at this point, Red just has what looks to be let's see if we looks to be nine, no, ten, eleven warp gates at this point, so there, he's able to just, as long as he's got those resources, he can produce armies much quicker than the Zerg player who's only got this one hatchery, or hive now. He's not collecting any resources. He's in a rough way. Teal only having four warp gates down and now only one stargate is gonna have a little bit of a tougher time producing new troops in order to, to match Red's just uh, impeccable ability to just pump out wave after wave after wave of guys again providing he's got that that uh, amount of resources but I mean he's expanded up here he's still resourcing from here I think he'll be able to uh, Think, I'm, I'm thinking he just might pull this one off, is what I'm trying to say. I'm thinking he just might be able to take it. Looks like Teal has kind of noticed his production problem, and he's putting down more Stargates in order to get more Void Rays. And at this point, this Zerg guy doesn't look like he's got any idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's, he's collecting minerals from this base and resourcing them back to his own base. But he is expanding over here. And, you know, he doesn't have, he's got like two hydralisks. Oh, never mind, he's got a couple more in his base. But here comes Red, again on the counter-offensive. He's going to see those drones scuttle away. He's not going to chase them. But again, he's going to run into this base right here. If you look at the armies, he's definitely got a huge advantage over his opponents. And those two hydralists are going to put up a defense. It's going to... It's not going to be anywhere near enough and just you know, torn down without a second's glance. There goes Teal's expansion. Purple is going to throw in the last remnants of his Hydralisks into battle, and they're going to get torn up. And 
and things are not looking good for for Purple's base at this point. But TL is going to counterattack Red's main base with his Void Rays. But is it going to be enough to defend against this massive army that Red has fielded? If he is able to destroy his production buildings, then he can at least assure that Red's not going to have any resources coming in. He's going to send in a couple stalkers to try and take on those Void Rays, but those Void Rays have switched to their high-powered laser, and they're going to melt those stalkers almost instantaneously. Looks like he's going for those uh, pylons, and right now Red is in negative supply. And there go his production buildings. At this point, he can't do anything. He, sorry, he can't replace his army at all. So, if at any point Teal is able to destroy his army, he might be able to turn this game around. But Red's just got a huge army right now. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Right now, I'm kind of rooting for the underdog. I kind of want uh, Red to win this one just because he is outnumbered. Now, it's now a base race at this point. And what that means is, uh, to win a StarCraft match, you need to destroy all the enemy's buildings. So, now, these guys are going to be focusing on seeing who can tear down each other's buildings the fastest. And personally, I don't like that method of winning very much. Yeah, I think it can be uh, exploited a little bit. But... Sometimes they can definitely make for some exciting matches. So now Red's main base is completely annihilated. It looks like he was going to bring in some stalkers to try and uh, fight those word rays, but he decided against it. His main army is still over here. It looks like he's just going to completely run by Teal's expansion. It looks like he's not going to bother to harass it at all. Now it looks like he's trying to lure those Void Rays into... Oh, like he can try and lure them into the photon cannons, but he takes out those pylons. Those void rays again, high powered. Oh, he was going after Purple's uh, new base. <laughs> anyway, those high powered lasers are going to take out the stalkers. Now, at this point, it looks like Red doesn't have any anti air capabilities. Purple's dead, he's completely dead. And they tear up everything he's got left. He's got a bunch of overlords. And Teal's gonna try and come to his rescue. So they're gonna try and kill those larvae. And if they didn't kill those larvae, then he can hatch in... Um, another drone. But now he's got no money for some reason, even though he had a whole bunch of money. Just before, uh... His base died. Whatever. Now both these guys just have huge stockpiles of resources, but no real way to use them. Now these stalkers and void rays are gonna go head to head once again. And I don't know who's gonna win. It looks like a void race might once again get the upper hand. And another bloody battle incurs. And only two Void Rays stand victorious over this one. Now it looks like Red is going to go after the main base. Now if uh, Teal is 
smart, he can go and kick out that cybernetic score, and Red can't produce any more stalkers to harass him with. Apparently he's, he's just not going to do that. almost lost one one void ray is almost completely destroyed and teal's base is destroyed red base is in the process of being destroyed and right now what teal wants to do is he wants to take what probes he has and just build buildings everywhere just build buildings all over the map but i think he just lost his last probe And it looks like Teal is going to lose this one. Because he doesn't have enough... He didn't build any more buildings back up. Red still has a lot of probes and a lot of money, so... He can still build a ton of bases if he needs to. Teal doesn't have any SCVs left. And I think it's, it's about spent for him. If you really, like, if, if Teal really wanted to win this game at this point, he would keep, oh, it looks like he's going to keep one Ford Raid defending that, this pylon and, and take another one to go attack his base because Red doesn't have any anti-air capabilities and provided that he doesn't let them get a cybernetics core, they will continue to not have any anti-air capabilities. It looks like they found that pylon. Whether or not he's going to attack it, we don't know. So these two void rays are going to go and attack Red's, ba Red's last base. But uh, if he loses this one, I suspect he'll just take a probe and rebuild uh, his base somewhere else. And there goes his base, melted down by the void rays. He still got a ton of money. And it looks like they're gonna they're gonna go after his last building, his last pylon. All of his zealots are gonna converge on this point. Those Void Rays are going to try and come in and save it, but it's too late, and the pylon goes down, and Red ends up being victorious in this day. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This has been Joseph Eastwood with Stalin. Signing off for now, and again, if you got any cool replays, love to see them. And for now, you guys take care.